Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing some really simple winter decor for after Christmas. I wanted to start off by using some of my milk glass pieces. You can use any of your thrifted glass pieces for this little project, but I just wanted to make some little decorative candle pieces for winter. As you can see, one of my glass pieces actually does have a candle holder in the center of it. The other one did not, so I'm just using a little candle cup that I had in my stash and then some of my little candles that that I've already burned down. I really wanted to keep some greenery in my decor pieces for winter. So I grabbed some of these little pine stems that I had and I'm just going to cut these down, cut off all the little pieces and kind of display them randomly inside of my milk glass pieces. For this first one, I did grab some of these little branches from Dollar Tree and they're kind of like flocked leaves. So I wanted to add a little bit of that lighter greenery into this as well. Then to finish these off, I wanted to add in a few little pine cones. So I'm just using these smaller ones that I got from Dollar Tree. For the second one, I ended up pretty much doing the same thing. I left out the lighter greenery for that one and actually added in a lot more pine cones for this one. Now, full disclaimer, I am not going to light these candles. It is just for decorative purposes, but you could use an LED taper if you want it. I love the look of snowmen, especially after Christmas, to add into your regular decor, but I wanted to make some kind of unique looking snowmen. So I'm using some little decorative balls that come out of those bags of vase fillers and I'm going to turn these into snowmen, but I did not like the light color of them. So I decided to add a little bit of paint and water into a plastic bag and just kind of dye these rattan decorative balls. I did try to use a paintbrush to start with, but it was just so difficult to try to paint these. And this was just so much easier. So if you ever want to change the color of these little balls, this is definitely the way to do it. Now, once these were all dry, then I'm just taking some gel super glue and I'm going to attach the smaller balls to the top of the larger ones to make the snowmen. The most important thing to make sure when you're doing this is that your balls are able to stand on their own. I let the gel super glue cure for a few hours and then I had these little buttons that actually came with a sewing kit from Dollar Tree. So I'm using three buttons on each of these. To glue these on, I'm just using my hot glue gun and some of my Gorilla Glue hot glue sticks. And if you wanted to, you could absolutely add some little arms to these. I have been on the hunt for a skinny lamp for my foyer table for a while now and I actually found this one at the thrift store recently but I did want to kind of jazz it up and make it a little cozier for winter so I decided to make a little slip cover with a piece of old sweater material to go over the lampshade. Now like I said I don't want this to be permanent but it is kind of cute to have just for winter. And since I'm going to make this into a slip cover, I can easily remove it after the season. Now you'll need to figure out how large or small your lampshade is. For this particular one, it is a smaller lampshade. So I actually only ended up having to use the front piece of the little turtleneck that came from the sweater. And as you can see here, once I wrap this around my shade, I did make it just a little smaller than the shade because I want this 
to fit snugly and this sweater material is extra stretchy. So once I figured out that this was going to fit nicely, then I'm going to just fold this over and start working on those raw edges. As you can see, I just kind of flipped one side in to itself to make a hem and then put the other piece on the back side of this. Now, if you wanted to, to make it easier for yourself, you can definitely just glue those hems together before you start this sewing part. And honestly, you could glue this entire piece together and just avoid sewing all together. If you do decide to go that route instead of sewing, then I would definitely recommend fabric glue over hot glue just because this is going to be around a lampshade that does get a little warm. For mine, like I said, I did decide to just sew this back edge together. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. This is just going to be the back side of the lampshade. No one is going to see it and I ended up just using some Dollar Tree white string and one of my plastic needles and I'm just doing an over looped stitch on this just over and over until I get to the top of it. It was super quick and super easy to do and maybe took about two minutes. Now once I reach the top of this then I'm just going to push my needle back through to the back side to the front and I'm going to leave a little loop of that string come back through and then make a knot there at the top. Once it was all secure then I was able to slip this over my lampshade and the way I decided to do this is just bring that bottom edge down to the very bottom and just over that lip just a tiny bit at the bottom there. I didn't want too much overhang but just enough to make sure that the bottom part of the lampshade was covered. As for the top of the lampshade, there was a little bit of overhang and that edge was undone. So you could really do one of two options for this. You could take it off and glue that hem on the inside of this lampshade cover or just do what I did and fold it into itself there at the top. As for the lamp base, all I ended up doing was just taping the cord and the top piece and then painting this with a couple coats of my black chalk paint. I ended up finding this cute little sled back at the thrift store around Christmas time and completely forgot about it. So instead of using this for Christmas, I decided to turn this into a little riser for winter. I removed the Christmas bow and ornaments from the top of this and then I'm going to go in with some black chalk paint and paint those legs completely. I also ended up painting the bottom side of the sled just because you could kind of see the underside and the inside of some more of that red paint under here. Now I did consider just leaving the top of this that wood color but it was super orange and I just was not loving it at all so I decided to dry brush the top of this sled with some more of that black chalk paint and then do a little technique that I've been doing a lot recently is leaving some of the wood showing through to the black and then once I had the top of this and the sides done with a dry brush technique, then I'm going to go back in and calm that black down, but also bring out some of that wood. So once I finished the top and the sides, I let that completely dry. And then I'm going to go back in with a wet rag and some Waverly antiquing wax. And I'm just going to go over this entire thing thing and it's going to really calm down that black and not make it so stark but also give this kind of a rustic antique look. It also helped deepen the raw wood that was still showing so it wasn't so orange and it had a more weathered look. You can also see I ended up going over the legs where I had painted those completely black. And again, this is just calming down that black and giving it a dark wood look. 
And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.